So I'm going to do just a quick video. Uh, i got to fix these fans. It's nothing too crazy or hard, but I thought, eh, I can't really hurt to make a video. Maybe it'll help somebody. Um, just to let everybody know, I have been working on um, something else, and it's been taking a lot of time, and uh, I'm almost there, so I'll, I'll have a video up on that. So I've been working on that and just been busy with other things. But in the meantime, I started printing something in the middle of the night, or before I went to bed, which usually is in the middle of the night, and a few hours later I got woken up by these things buzzing and um, actually it was this one or no it was this one but this one also kind of does it but it stops after a few minutes so I can deal with that once it warms up it's fine this one but the problem is I tried to get it to do it for the camera it will not it works perfect as is always the case so hopefully we can get this one to uh, make some noise so you can hear what what the uh, what the problem is but regardless I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna work on them I don't have replacement fans um, of this size that are not currently in use, and I don't have to wait a few days, you know, to order them and, and get them in. Now, this is for, I believe it's a, a Monoprice Maker 3, so I'm sure other people have had this issue. So basically what we're going to do is, what happens is, the the buzzing that you hear is the, the bearing, all right, so forgive me, this is going to be a little bit weird, but uh, you have the, the shaft of the fan is going to go into the bearing, and what happens is the bearing wears down, because they're usually they're just made of brass. And instead of the thing spinning, it actually starts to rattle around inside, and that's that buzzing you hear if you've ever had one of these go bad. And it's kind of like, um, you know, be fine, then you hear this, and it stops, and then starts again, and that's literally the, the shaft just bouncing around in there. Not much you can do with, about that except, I mean, you can throw some oil in it, that'll fix it temporarily, um, other than replacing the bearing. It's actually a bushing, it's not really a bearing, but whatever. And for this, I mean, what do these cost? A couple dollars? Why would you go through and spend all that? But if you have one of these and you want to get it working temporarily, you can use oil, and that'll help a little bit. But I found something else, and this is called fluid film. And this is actually, I, I got it in a spray bottle, and you spray it, or I sprayed it in here. So I have some from my workbench without spraying it all over the place. It stinks. It smells like a, a wet dog. But the stuff's really thick, as you can tell. Um, this out of here. As you can tell, it's uh, it, it's not you know obviously there's residue there, but this is where the bulk of it is, and it's not moving. It's it's really thick. People use this for um, rust proofing the undercoat or the underside of their cars. Anyway, so here's what we're gonna do. Let me see if I can turn this on, and make this make noise. I'm not sure if you're even gonna be able to hear it. Hear it. If I touch it against the table, it'll do it. It makes it so that it, you actually hear it. Now, after about five minutes, this will stop. It'll start working. I guess that's because the metal inside expands and, and holds the shaft in place. Uh, but you can tell it's not very balanced. So let's get this one apart. Actually, that one's fine. Let's work on this one. So what I'm going to do, first thing, and these wires are, I already came off. I had to pull the uh, plastic back to resolder them. I'm probably going to have to do that again. I get this apart, but I'm going to take this plus or this uh, label off. And if you hear a ticking, that's my ceiling fan next to me. And in here, you know what? Let's do this. Let's use the microscope. It's not, it's going to fill up the entire frame, but you can see what I'm doing. So in the middle of you know, so here's the fan. It's kind of filthy. In the middle, you have this little plastic washer here, and it's actually a lot. It, it locks the shaft in place, and you're really supposed to replace these each time. But I mean, these are cheap fans, so this shouldn't even be replaced. This should just be thrown out. And I'm not the kind of person to do that, but let's be real here. And you want to find where it splits. Right there. See, that's where it opens up. Right there. And. Let's try using this instead. And I'm probably gonna break it in the process. Oh god, these are bent. Again, this is temporarily temporary until I can uh, get more fans for this printer. But I'm working on something and I gotta print out a part. 
it's usually a lot easier than this. There it goes. All right, so we'll take that out. Usually I can pop them out without breaking it, but something about being on camera just makes it so much more difficult. All right, so the fan itself should just pop out now. further. So you see that it's real simple. There's just a small shaft. There's a magnet around the outside. There's a stator inside here and it's it's a real simple design. See? Now this is the bearing that goes bad. And I believe this is made out of, I'm guessing, brass. I, don't, I mean, it doesn't even really look like brass, but I don't know, aluminum maybe, I don't really know. Um, but yeah, so this is the problem. So first things first, I'm gonna use a, uh, a Q-tip with a little bit of rubbing alcohol and just get in there and get any of the dust and debris and crud that's been built up out of there. It's actually looking pretty clean. And I'm not going to be too thorough about this. You could actually get a, a napkin or a paper towel in there real fine and, and work it back and forth to get everything out of there. Uh, off camera, I'm just going to spray some through it. And there's that. And we'll just let that, just let that dry. And we got this one here. rubbing alcohol on here and just clean the shaft off. Also when I get back, sometimes there's a, um, inside here there's a little washer. This one looks like it's made out of rubber. Really soft plastic. And I, I, with this I'm not being too thorough. I just need this to work for another week or so. But um, if you wanted to, Again, clean this out as, as good as possible. Get all the dust out. Get all the, you know, anything it built up in there out of there. You could even put a small metal washer in there to kind of pull it, you know, away from the stator here and, and this bushing. Um, sometimes that helps, especially if it's worn down. So we're going to let that just kind of chill. Just let me dry it out a little bit. All right. And I'm wearing gloves because this stuff is disgusting. It works great, but God, does it smell. All right, sorry, and I'm back. Uh, yeah, as soon as I opened, spun this thing around, opened it, it all just came splooging out, and it's probably going to keep doing that. So I got, uh, again, see, yep, it, it's just coming out. So, let's see if I can open this without it. And see, there it comes. So we'll just, whatever, we'll let it do it. It's what it does close it up. Putting it in this container is probably not the smartest thing. I thought it was at the time, but so just a little bit over there and then I'm going to put the actually, you know what, let's do this. Let's work some into the hole there. This video is going to go downhill, I know it, but this stuff, it doesn't look like it is on camera, but it's, uh, it's really, it's really thick. And the, the thing about this stuff is it's sticky. Once it gets on something, and that's why you spray it to the undercarriage of your car, um, it doesn't, you would think you spray an oil, it would all drip off. Some does when it, it builds up, but for the most part, the stuff stays. It's, it's amazing. All right, so now we got some of there. Let's put this back on.
Now because it's so thick, like with oil you would put a little bit and it would just work its way around. This one, this stuff isn't. So if you look here, let's see if I can do this on camera without it. God. So if you look here, you'll notice it stuck to certain parts of it, but it didn't get all the way around. So I want to add a little bit more and just work it down there and possibly even just put it right on the shaft here. Kitty cat wants some attention. And with oil, I always say when you're ever doing anything with fans with oil, you only add a little bit because it'll attract uh, you know, dust and everything. With this, it's already shot. And the reason I'm using this thick stuff is because it will uh, take up and fill in any of the gaps that are, are there with the, with the bushing being worn out. And it'll hopefully keep it from from buzzing. I'll put this back on. Yeah, it's not a mess. That's why I'm wearing gloves. And you really don't even need to put this back on. Uh, it'll stay in place, but I'm gonna see if I can get it on there. Let's see what can bend this back in shape first. And you know, don't even need to. Yeah, I don't even think that's gonna hold. Whatever, don't need it. It's not gonna go anywhere. Mag the magnet's gonna hold it mostly in place. Unless it's at some weird angles at, at, uh, with a lot of vibration, but it should be fine. So, now that that's done, let's give it a little bit of power and let it run. Nice and quiet. So what I'll do is, as soon as I find it, so what I'll do is I'll use a little bit of uh, electrical tape and just cap off the rear, keep any dust out of there. And that's it. So let's do the other one. The other one was the one I showed you earlier buzzing. So let's see if we can have a little bit better luck with this one here. Take the label off. And I never reuse these because they don't stick very well. The idea of covering it up um, is mostly to keep, um, you know, like I said before, dust and, and anything dirt out of it. And I think I actually oiled this at one point while it was on the printer just to shut it up, but it didn't hold, so we'll be cleaning this one out. Yeah, see, this one came out a lot easier. And, uh, let's take this out. Take, take a look and see what it looks like. And look at that, you can see a line. I don't know if that's a, is that? Should be all be one piece. I don't know if that's a, that, no, that looks like that's where it, we're in. Yep. That's where the shaft wore through. So again, this one is not long for this world either, but So let's just clean this out. And again, I'm just 
very quickly getting any old oil out of it. And this is what I should have done with the other one. You cover the um, soak this in, or you know, add isopropyl alcohol to it, and then uh, just pull it through there and it cleans it out. That's my little kitty. She's the new one. She just got fixed and declawed. I'm not really a big fan of the whole declawing thing, but I had to. Living situation, I, I kind of had to. I really didn't want to, though. But she's getting over it. She's got to go back in in a few days to get her stitches removed. So let's clean this out. And not much is coming off, so maybe I didn't oil this one. Maybe that was just a bunch of grime that, that got gumped up in there. I'm just going to slightly open this. And I found for motors, this stuff is great for old motors, not for new. It's like running thick oil in a, in a car that's burning oil. I mean, it, 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 uh, and has, you know, a car that's burning oil and has, you know, old bearings. Uh, quiets it up quite a bit because it takes up the space of the of the bearings that have uh, depreciated. I guess you could say. So yeah, this is what I should have done on the first one, and I'm just going to work that through. And I wanted to cover all the surfaces. Uh, the reason I wanted to do that is, like I said before, this stuff, it doesn't really move. It's not like regular oil where you put a little bit on and it'll work its way through. This stuff just goes where you put it. So for old fans and old motors, it works great. Gets a little more life out of them. And actually, I think on this one, I'm just going to add a little bit down into there. Can't hurt. the outside of it so that the tape has something to stick to. Alright, it's in there and then what I'll do is just kind of cut off these corners. And that's that. So let's plug it in and see if it did what it did before. So yeah, uh, while I do this, so my Genesis, um, I wasn't able to, I think I did a video on it before, wasn't even able to overclock it at all. And I even got a uh, 8 megahertz crystal uh, oscillator and put in there and it wouldn't even overclock with 8 megahertz. It would work for, you know, a minute or so and then you start getting video artifacts. And I uh, did some testing. And it comes down where I felt, it, though, it was the uh, memory. The RAM was bad. So I pulled some off another board. I have a lot of a lot of donor boards. And pulled some off of there, popped it in, and lo and behold, it overclocked to 8 without a problem. And then overclocked it to 10, and it also ran without a problem. Uh, the video that, you, that I uploaded um, was a Genesis Model 2 uh, that I uploaded the video of a comparison comparing 12 to uh, 7 megahertz. Another thing is, it wasn't 12 megahertz, it was 10. I, for some reason, you know how it is, late at night you're doing stuff, you think one thing and it just gets stuck in your head. Uh, it was 10 megahertz, not 12, so I have to fix that. But I will be uploading a video about the, the new Genesis, the new Genesis, which was my original. Um, I'm gonna have three speeds, seven, uh, 10, and 13. But I don't know if the 13 is actually going to work, so we'll, we'll find out. And I'll do a video on that. So uh, let's turn this on. We'll do it just like before. See it's spinning. And it no longer is buzzing. I don't even know if you can hear it. Yeah, it's, it's really smooth now. You can see it's a little off balance. 
but remember before I would kind of push it against the table and you could hear it buzzing? Not anymore, and it's running, excuse me, it's running at 12 volts. So that's that. Stupid video, I know, easy, but um, I figure why not, I gotta do it, might as well. I'm sitting here at the camera, I might as well make one, but hopefully that'll help somebody out there. And um, if you found it interesting, helpful, whatever, let me know in the comments if you thought it was stupid and a waste of time. Let me know that too, because, yeah. And, uh, well, I'll see you soon. As soon as I get these parts in, I will uh, be making a video of the Genesis. And uh, we'll be uploading that soon. So, hope to see you then. And um, talk to you later. Bye-bye.